Right guys, welcome to another episode of Below Average Customising and um, we've absolutely been smashing out the customs in December, we made that Ibushi uh, a couple of weeks ago, we made Okada not too long ago and yeah, now we're going to be making a Trent 7 here today. But yeah, you guys will notice there's no intro on this video either, uh, I am just testing out a few things to see if the quality is any different. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys think this quality is better than the last customising video. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go through the parts that we have here, and I've wanted to make a Trent 7 for a while, because it seems like Mattel will never make one, you know, he's had those sick matches against Undisputed Error and everything, and yeah, great talent, and I can't wait to use him uh, in the pick fed potentially at some point, maybe with Tyler Bate, maybe with Pete Dunne, maybe on his own, who knows, uh, but yeah, I'm going to run through the parts and tell you guys how I'm going to be making this. So yeah, I took a few uh, inspirations in this one of how to make this, so I'll let you guys know. Uh, so for the base, we're going to just be using this Arn Anderson, which I bought recently. Uh, it was pretty cheap. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be taking the head scan off here. I got this because I think this torso works the best. Um, maybe the Honky Tonk one would be better for a more updated Trent 7. But for kind of like his indie run, he's, like, he's a bit bigger now. Um, so I think this one will do for now. Uh, yeah, then just white wrist tape. I'm going to have to acetone that little mark off there. And then I'm going to be acetoning this off. And then I think I'm going to paint the tights, the trunks black. Uh, just to make it, you know, more accurate. Even though it won't really have any logos or anything. But I think you could easily pull this off as a red and white attire. Um, but yeah. And then I'm going to be leaving the thighs, which might be a bit too skinny, but oh well. And then taking off the knee pads and boots. And adding on these Aja Styles lower legs. The knee pads and these kick pads, which I need to acetone. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much going to be the whole figure there. But uh, yeah, here we have a Trent 7 custom head scan. And I bought this off a random guy off Facebook. I just saw he was selling it. I'm sorry I forgot your name. Um, but yeah, he didn't want it anymore. And I decided to just, you know, it was a pretty good price. And I picked it up. And I think it looks really good. Uh, I believe it was made originally by TSM Customs. And made, painted by him. So yeah, shout out to him. I've got a few things off him before. Great customizer. But yeah. Uh, you will see there's a little bit of a white mark on the beard, which doesn't bother me too much. I could maybe fix that, uh, but we'll see. Uh, but, you know, this uh, kind of attire is just... It's based In WWE, usually wears the little boots attire, but those parts are so hard to get. Uh, so we're just going to be making his little kick pad attire, uh, which he does rock sometimes. Uh, so, yeah. pretty should be pretty simple, you know. We're just adding a head and doing some part swaps and just painting black on the trunks. Uh, but, yeah, I guess uh, that's all I have to say now. And I am using this AJ because it is like super loose and I don't really need the parts because I, I already plan on swapping the head scan to another AJ. Uh, so yeah, I may as well use the rest for something useful. Uh, I could have used this extra pack thing but I don't have the lower legs and I couldn't find them. So yeah, that's why we're using AJ. So yeah, I need to get some hot water and then we're going to get straight into this. Hope you guys have been enjoying the daily December uploads and including these customizing videos. Uh, I may have another one out. In December, I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure I have something else to make. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. But yeah, now all I need to do is get the hot water. I think I'm going to use hot water over the hairdryer. Uh, just because last time I used the hairdryer, everything went everywhere. And the hot water seems to be a lot more effective. Uh, so yeah, I'll go do that now. So I've got those guys both taking a bath in there now. Uh, yeah, we're going to be doing the lower legs, getting those out of the way. Because uh, those are usually the hardest. I do need to get my screwdriver. Uh, so I can force the pin through the hole if I need to. Um, and yeah, then we're going to pop the head off. Uh, actually, we should probably acetone the tights first and then maybe paint it. I'm still deciding if I want to paint it or not because I feel like I might mess it up. Uh, but yeah, I also need to get my sealer. Uh, I'm very unprepared for these videos, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, hopefully it should be all good anyway. So those guys have been sitting for a while now. I'll just pull my towel over. And now take off... The, we're going to be putting on the black, do we put on the black upper leg? I can't remember. No. Keep on these bits. Like that. Already messed it up, kind of. Just force that back through. There we go. Because he usually wears like the no knee pads look, but we're going to have the knee pads just slid down a bit, if you know what I mean. You guys will get what I mean in a moment. So yeah, there we go. And now let's get AJ out. Um, let's take off these kick pads. Don't need them anymore. I could have acetone these, but usually AJ kick pads go all funny when I've acetone them in the past. Like they've got a different colour underneath. 
Let's shift it off these. So yeah, actually I need these black pins. Coming up. Position the camera better in a moment. This is left leg. It's in there. This one. Oh, yeah. oh where'd that go? I got it, I got it, I got it. So we managed to get those lower legs on pretty easily if it just focuses. Uh, yeah, the pin has gone all the way through. Uh, now I just need to add the knee pads, but I also forgot I would have to acetone these Neville kick pads, which is always a pain because I've done this a few times. Um, so yeah, I'll go do that now. Actually, I am going to take this head scan off while I acetone, uh, just to save a bit of time and the hot water, use it up, you know. Uh, so yeah, now we begin the acetoning. So I started acetoning the AJ Styles kick pad just to see if I could and it turns out you can so I don't need to ruin my Neville kick pads. Um, so yeah, I will just be able to acetone these AJ ones as you can see going pretty well so far. Alright so I've acetoned the kick pads as best as I could and I think I did a pretty good job on the AJ Styles ones. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to pop those back in the water there and I have also managed to pop the head off the uh, Arn Anderson uh, I could actually use this for a suited manager Arn Anderson you know since he is in AEW uh, managing Cody kinda uh, so yeah, I'll put these in here as well and once we've fitted those together I'll pop the head on and we'll see where we're at alright so they've been in there a while now Let me just pull these out as best I can oh I forgot hopefully the water didn't mess up the acetone job I almost forgot. Remember the peak done? I mean the Jeff Cobb. That was not a great time. Yeah, this is the right leg. Just pop that on there. Ow. The water has cooled down a bit. Come on. I don't want to get new hot water just for this. There we go. Looking pretty decent. Now the other leg, I mean kick pad. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Boom. So here is how the Trent Seven is currently looking with no head. And I actually think these tights do look pretty cool. I, I need to acetone that off. I forgot again. Uh, but I did acetone the double A logo. And I think this actually looks pretty cool. If these kick pads were like white and red. this could You could totally pull this off. Uh, but yeah let's put the head scan on. And see what it looks like. Boom that fits on there. Pretty decently I'd like to think. I will get a wider shot for you guys. To get a better look at this. I don't think it looks too bad you know. I might actually just leave it like that. I think that looks decent. You know what guys, we're just going to leave it as that. No painting required today. I'm sorry if you wanted to see that. Uh, but I think we have done a lot recently. But uh, I am just going to keep it like this. Because I think this attire just looks pretty cool. You know, it's kind of like a fantasy attire. It's got the white and red. Seems like something he'd wear. And then the black kick pads. And I think the head scan does look pretty cool. Uh, for now, and this will do me until Mattel make one. Or if I ever, ever get a custom one made. Uh, but yeah, this does look... I think this looks great, you know. not going to lie. I uh, will get a Tyler Bay just to pair him against to show you guys the height difference. Because uh, Trent Seven is kind of a sm he's like kind of small guy. I don't really know how to describe him. He's like definitely taller than Tyler Bay. I believe he is he five foot eight. I don't know. Uh, let's see, I'll put him next to Tyler Bay here. Let's put him in there. I think that's pretty accurate. You know, Tyler Bay is quite a lot shorter than him, and I think that works well. His tights match Tyler Bay's skin tone. Uh, but yeah, I really need an updated Tyler Bate. If you guys want me to make an updated Tyler Bate to match this, uh, I'll be totally down. Because I feel like Tyler Bate could also use this torso, uh, even though he is a bit more ripped. 
Uh, but yeah, that just I'm I'm happy with this Trent Seven. If you guys like it, let me know with a like uh, by leaving a like on the video. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Uh, but yeah, I will go ahead and post some more pictures on my Instagram of this guy. But yeah, great uh, custom here. I think this was a huge success, and I've got a lot of cleaning up to do because I spilled a lot of water. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.